Let's do it! Alright, welcome back everybody. I'm Jade Monkey. We're back here in Day Z. We're in Experimental 1.10 and this is an update to Experimental and I just want to say uh, we're over on the PC as the, the Experimental update, this uh, sub update. Not really a hot fix, but just uh, an iteration in the process. Um, the one on Xbox is going to be different. And again, if you're on PS4, don't worry. Experimental is just a test before it goes to Live Branch. So don't fret when things actually stabilize here. They do push it to Live Branch, and everybody gets it. PC, Xbox, and PS4. Now, these are to piggyback on top of the changes for Experimental that have already happened. I'm going to go ahead and link that video now in the upper right-hand corner. There we go. That's better. The wiggle's good, right? Um, that goes through the changes that we're up to right now. Okay, so we did have a chance to try it over on Xbox and see where the experimental was sitting as it stands. And we did notice some changes. So I just want to go ahead and say right now, we've been having problems with loot in 109 and the previous version of the experimental in 1.10. Uh, we're not sure about this version. What we're talking about is the central loot economy or the CLE. I always get it wrong when I slow it down. Uh, the CLE central loot economy and I'm sure if you played 109 you know what we're talking about uh, on any platform basically when loot spawns in if you loot that spot loot does not come back in no matter if you wait a day a real day uh, a handful of hours no matter what uh, and things just kind of slowly bleed out and things don't spawn back in which is a huge problem we're not talking about scarcity we're talking about lack of loot across the board edge weapons from melee to food like you could get a can of food off of a zombie and you would have zero way of opening it no rocks to combine to open the can no rocks to combine to do fishing it becomes basically almost impossible to leave the shoreline unless somebody hooks you up or you happen to find some pile of loot now we're not trying to be negative nancy's we've been playing this game for a long time and that's where it is right now it started to get like that for experimental 110 the first version but it looks like they've done some changes to the central loot economy this time that might curtail that. So we don't know. We haven't tested it yet. But I just want to say that's the issue a lot of us are looking at. And I just want to read off that first change. But just so you know, if you're on the Xbox, you will not get this version. Uh, this is only for the PC unless they see otherwise. This is the version we're dealing with. I want to say late October 2020. And the one we're talking about here, uh, the major change is lifetimes of items were lowered across the board. Two days have become eight hours. One day has become four hours. This change may take up to three days to be in effect on official experimental servers. Now remember, this is just for PC right now. So if you're seeing this, these changes are not coming to you on Xbox right now, uh, on experimental. Um, hopefully if these changes are all good, um, these will all come for us in Live Branch. But I just want to make sure that's out there. Uh, we will be testing this over here, over on the PC to see if this helps. Uh, because if it is, oh man, like all we want to do is play this over on the Xbox, right? So just know, um, another quick note, uh, we will be playing 109, trying to use or find some loot, trying to use some of the loot we already have on our players that we have accumulated for like almost a year. Our roster has, or I should say my bench has quite a few characters that are just geared out of their minds. And we might even jump over and do some community service stuff, so at least we can get in there and get in the mix. Because we've been dying to play 109. So anyways, um, back to 110 and the experimental changes. Okay. Let me make sure we got all these here. Okay. Uh, dry, raw meat will s would still trigger diseases. We did run into that. That's cool that they fixed it. It was not possible to skin an animal using a hatchet. The M4A1 could load flare ammunition. That's hilarious. I didn't even wait. There was not enough loot for us to even experiment with that. So I couldn't even... We couldn't even find that out, but that's hilarious. I, that would be so funny. You're just shooting, and all of a sudden, you're like, is that a flare? The incorrect amount of sticks was returned after building a shelter of a different type while having wooden sticks attached. Wee oui, wee. Oui. It was possible to destroy the place shelter kit. That's kind of funny. I didn't know they were... I didn't know you could do that. It was not possible to choose between different shelter types when more than one material set was attached to the shelter site. Oh, I think we did run into that by accident. That does make sense. That's cool that they fixed it. The action to build a shelter did not complete when holding a tool. I think we also ran into that as well. We were able to build a shelter, and it is, it's legit. It's nice, and you can also, like, take it with you for the most part. Uh, it was possible to overstack wooden sticks in a fireplace. 
it was not possible to unload a flare with a signal pistol well, unload a flare from a signal pistol when in standing or crouched positions the shock hit effect was appearing delayed and again lifetimes of items were lowered across the board two days have become eight hours one day has become four hours this change may take up to three days to be in effect on official servers again for this version of experimental this is only on PC right now but when this is live branch the combined changes will come through and again we will be testing this heavily removed skinning from shovel from the shovel as it was causing conflict with the berry action lowered the heat insulation of the raincoat lowered the heat insulation of patrol gear updated the tourist map on Chanaris to include the latest coastline changes flare light should illuminate its surroundings much better using a linear brightness fall off lowered the temperature loss of items when on the player reduced the overall damage applied to tools that's cool because we were burning those stupid quick and this one's nice because before an experimental we had this thing burn after like 12 charges but it's nice reduce the damage done to tools by burying ashes and players bodies by 60 percent awesome which means we can bury things better Increase the health of stone knives. Thank you. Steak knives and kitchen knives. Whew. Yeah, you would have like two, three. It was bad. <laughs> the leather shelter now requires eight tanned leather to build. Ooh, key and operative word being tanned leather, which is uh, leather and garden lime, if I'm not mistaken. The tarp shelter now requires four pieces of tarp to build. Sad panda. Ooh, that's that's rough. Increase the cargo space of shelters to 10 by 10, which means 100. We do not have loot Tetris over on PS4 and Xbox. We just have slots. So um, that's good that it was increased. Uh, we don't have to worry about the sizing, though. So we can jam things in there like, I don't know, tires. Okay, increase the impact of altitude on the environment temperature, on, on the environmental temperature. The regeneration speed of broken legs is now fixed to 30 minutes. Ooh, that's rough. In case of broken splinted legs, the health of your legs now defines the character's injury animation slower with lower HP. Walking does not trigger shock damage when having a broken leg and not having a splint. Okay. Pain oh, that's good. We don't have to crawl anymore, right? Painkillers and morphine reduce shock dealt by broken legs more making them more a lot more useful in cases where the player does not have enough time to craft or apply a splint crossing waters by walking or swimming now makes the player freeze more all right so that's a pretty good pretty good wind up so these are the changes we will be testing these i think the thing most people are worried about is the loot economy has been so just straight broken and we want to, s I mean, it, honestly, that's the only reason we haven't been playing 109 because it's been to the point where once the loot settled in, it was like impossible to do anything if you didn't have loot or you died and you had to come back and you needed food. So it's nice. We definitely want to test this. We want to see the player loot get better. And, you know, so all these new players coming in can experience Daisy in its, in its full glory. The good, the bad, everything, you know, the survival. So it's going to be good. So we will be over on official as much as we can probably 109 in the interim and trying to uh, you know just just get warmed up with everything and uh, yes if you did find this video helpful and or useful be sure to drop a like if you're not subscribed already consider and if you do uh, turn on those notifications so you know when we're live both on stream and when videos go up we do a lot of open world survival like rust daisy and uh, side note we will be playing daisy uh, as soon as this hits live branch for sure and also, when Rust comes out, both beta and the full release, we will be playing that over on console heavily. So stay tuned for that. We are waiting official word on that still. Unfortunately, we're still waiting, but uh, I, it's got to be soon. So we're excited for all these big changes coming through the pipeline for both this game and for Rust. So we cannot wait, and hopefully we see you guys there on either one or both of them. That would be great. So uh, we'll see you guys in the next video slash live stream. Uh, love you. Bye. Let's rip this thing.